Julian Chevalier, lead designer on Valiant Hearts, told me, We wanted to do a game about World War I, but not a war game. So that's why you don't kill people. The war kills them, but you don't kill them. It's a game that puts a human face on war, focusing on how World War I impacted the lives of ordinary people. You hop between characters, playing as an American soldier named Freddy, an older French soldier named Emile, and a nurse named Anna, among others. This isn't a story of good versus evil, but of people swept up in a conflict that is beyond their control. Valiant Hearts isn't all tragedy and sorrow. It makes time for moments of sweetness and exuberance. A cute dog helps you solve many of the game's simple puzzles, and your interactions with him may bring a smile to your face despite the devastation the characters have experienced. And in one inspired sequence, Anna drives through the bustling streets of Paris as you navigate obstacles that appear in rhythm with the music. It's a joyous moment. The simple gameplay aims to communicate the ordinary nature of the characters. This is not a power fantasy and you don't play as powerful killing machines. You distract soldiers by throwing objects and sometimes just try to avoid the death and destruction happening around you. Even when things are grim, the art style should keep the game's story approachable for children and adults alike. Valiant Hearts will be released on June 25th for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PC.